Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today's episode is going to be about Pat McGrath's uh, Dark Star Number no. 6 kit, and I got it in the Ultra Suede Brown color. Um, the kit comes in two different colorways, um, a brown and like a really bright blue. I decided to go with the brown because that's just something I know that I would wear much more often. It is what I have on my eyes today, so if you're interested in hearing my uh, thoughts on this kit and um, a tutorial on this eye look, then just keep on watching. So I purchased this kit off of the Pat McGrath site uh, when she was offering like a pre-sale, um, like a pre-order. So I ordered it right away. I am a huge fan of Pat McGrath. I have all of her kits from like three on. Um, I sort of missed the boat on one and two. But anyway, I love them. And when they arrive in those um, envelopes with all the sequins, it is like Christmas morning. So I was super excited to get it. Um, the items come in, you know, the clear plastic bag that she's kind of known for now um, with the kind of color theme on the back. And this dark star color theme is like this really kind of crazy holographic blue. Um, and the envelope was filled with these sequins, which I say. <laughs> <laughs> which I saved in this jar. I have no idea what I'm going to do with them, but they seem too pretty to throw out. So they'll probably go in the garbage as soon as I need more room in my, on my vanity. But, um, yeah, so, <laughs> so just be careful when you open the envelope. Um, I pretty much just poured everything out and took a picture of it. And I have been finding these sequins all around my room ever since. And in fact, I vacuumed the other day and I saw sequins in the, um, in the little canister of my vacuum. So just be careful uh, or just be aware that you'll find the sequins everywhere. Okay, so the kit um, comes with uh, seven items. So it's $130, which is definitely a very steep price point. But when you consider it comes with seven items, I don't think it's that bad. Um, and if you want to achieve sort of a smoky, fun look, um, you can use all the products um, that are included in this kit. At least I did, and I absolutely love it. I love the quality of the shadows. Um, I love how easy it is to sort of achieve like a really dramatic sort of smoky look, which is very intimidating. It's intimidating to me. I mean, I just feel like you can go so wrong so quickly. I will have a tutorial at the end of this video with this look if you're interested. Anyway, let me talk about the products that come in the kit. So I got the Ultra Suede Brown version, not the blue, and this is the Ultra Suede Brown pigment that comes in the kit. It also comes with three other pigments. This is the Dark Matter pigment, which is like the black. Uh, it also comes with the Mercury pigment, uh, which is like the silvery, taupey color. Uh, it also comes with the Astral White pigment, which is like a white duochrome kind of shift to like a bluish purple. Also comes with an eye gloss, which is like a clear gloss with like this really cool purpley blue shift to it. It also comes with like a black coal liner, which is like a chubby stick. And this is, this is intense. This is very black. Um, and it's a twist up. And last but not least, it comes with like a, a flat tapered blending brush, which is great for the smoky look. I happen to really like this brush that uh, was included. Um, it's something that I use with all of my shadows now, so I'm really enjoying this brush. Um, so basically the two different kits, the only difference is this particular uh, pigment. You'll get all the other items in both kits, um, but this is what will change. You have the brown in the Ultra Suede Brown kit, and then this will be the super bright blue in the Ultra Blue. I'm not sure what that one's called, but the other one, the blue kit. Um, and I just actually read on the Sephora site that the blue one, um, the pigment may kind of stain your skin. So just be aware of that. Uh, if that's not something you like, then maybe maybe go for the brown. Uh, but anyway, let me swatch um, these pigments for you so you can take a closer look. I am such a huge fan of these shadows. I think that they perform really well. I think they blend it out really nicely. Um, and most of all, I think they work really, really well together. I thought the black 
um, and or the brown were going to be kind of overpowering for the other two colors, but it's they're not. I think that they're really fantastic. And what you'll also notice is that none of these shades are matte in any way. Even the black has a little bit of a sort of satiny finish to it. And now let me swatch the eye gloss and the um, coal liner for you. I, I think they're exactly what you think they would be. So here's the gloss and here is the liner. And I think this is such a fun kit. Um, I think you should, if you're interested at all, I think you should take advantage of the 15 or the 10% off that you'll get at Sephora now. But I really do love this kit. Uh, for someone like myself who's uh, fairly intimidated by a sort of smoky eye, this kit really, really made it easy. It gave me everything that I needed to sort of um, give myself like this really fun sort of dramatic look without looking, at least I hope not, please tell me if I'm completely deluded, but without looking completely ridiculous. I feel like I've done smoky eyes in the past where I just look like I've taken just like black shadow and just done this with my finger. Um, so this kit really makes it easy to do like a really fun, dramatic, smoky look. Um, and I love the twist on it. I mean, Pat McGrath is, as we all know, like the most amazing makeup artist. So, um, so everything has this sort of editorial twist to it. And I think that's what the eye gloss brings. By all means, you don't need to use this um, with every look. But, you know, if you just dab it on and all of a sudden your look is like intergalactic and like super fun and out of this world. So, yeah, I just had such a great time playing around with this kit. Um, the one thing I do want to let you know, and you'll see this in the tutorial probably a little bit, is I put the eye, well, I put the eye makeup on up first because I was afraid of fallout. And there definitely was some fallout, especially with the um, astral white pigment. Uh, when I went in with it, uh, kind of on the inner corner of my eye here, I got a lot of fallout here, and I used Fix Plus with it, so it, it made it even a little bit hard to kind of like wipe away. So there definitely was some fallout there, and there definitely was some fallout with the black. Not as much as the um, the white pigment, but the, I saw some kind of like black flecks on my cheekbones when I was done. So just be aware of that. You definitely want to uh, use these first before putting your foundation on. Um, so you can kind of wipe away any sort of fallout. Uh, but other than that, I found the shadows to perform really well. And if you're interested in finding out how I got this look and how I used it, then um, let's move on into the tutorial. So I've primed my eyelids, I've done my eyebrows, but I don't have anything else on my face. Um, I figured this is a pretty pigmented, smoky, dark, kind of eye look that I'm going to do, so I don't want to kind of deal with any fallout. So um, I usually start with a, like a full face of makeup, like foundation and all that, but I thought it was smarter if I kind of held off on that. So um, I have the eye brush that comes in the kit, and then I have a bunch of um, other eye brushes that I use normally. So I'm hoping to use every single item that is in this kit. So I'm just trying to think how I should start out. I think I'm going to start out with the um, the actual ultra suede brown uh, color and I'm going to use the brush that came in the kit. I'm going to start very very lightly and um, build up. Uh, the smoky eye look is not really um, something I do often <laughs> so I'm a little bit scared but let's see what happens. So I'm just going to very gently start sweeping that back and forth over my eyelid and I put primer down and I'm wondering if I should have put some um, powder over you know what I'm gonna do actually I'm gonna put some powder over this eye and see if it makes a difference so sometimes when I use uh, an eyeshadow primer it's almost like too sticky so that when I go in with an eyeshadow it almost tends to like skip it like catches so I'll put down um, a light layer of my favorite uh, setting powder, which is the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Finish Skin Perfecting Micro Powder, the longest name ever. And I'm just going to use like a fluffy uh, blending brush and just put that over this eyelid. All right, so I'm going to go in on this side and just see what happens.
Yeah, I feel like the, I don't know if you can see that on camera, but I feel like the shadow on this side is going on uh, more smoothly. Um, so I think, I think I should have done that on this side. I think I should have put down um, some powder. But anyway, live and learn. So I'm just going back and forth um, with this ultra suede color. And with brushes like this where they're um, tapered uh, pretty drastically, like you can see that the, the hairs kind of start to get shorter and then taper up to the top, you really want to use mostly like the side of the brush. You don't want to go in kind of straight. And I think um, that definitely helps with a sort of smoky, smoked out look. If you, if you use a brush this way or use a brush that's intended to be used this way, you're going to get a lot more of um, a precise application. It's going to look um, less sort of smoky and less sort of blurred at the edges. So uh, definitely use like the, the side of it. You see how I hold it kind of close to angle down to my face. I'm just going to kind of just blend that out. I'm just going to sort of brush it along the edges. I don't know if you can see, but the application between the side that has the powder and the side without the powder is totally different. It looks like the product on here really um, kind of came all the way down on my eyelid even though I was sort of doing the same thing and here it really stayed where I placed it. So I definitely like the powdered side better. This side looks a little bit messier. But let me try and uh, let me try and match those up. So now I'm going to go with the dark matter pigment and that is this black, beautiful black pigment. So I'm going to use my Surratt um, eye brush and I can't remember exactly what this is called, but it's like something like um, smoky eye brush or eye brush, you know, smoky. Um, and this is the medium size. And I'm just going to kind of pass that over the black shadow. I just want to see how pigmented it is. And this is another brush that should be used um, on its side. And I'm just going to kind of feather that on the outer corner here. That is pretty pigmented. I feel like I barely touched the shadow and I'm barely touching my eyelid. And I'm definitely getting some uh, pigment. So I'm going to just build this up slowly and I'm sticking to the outer corner of my eye. I'm really just placing the brush like right above my lash line and just sort of um, flicking it up a little bit. So I just focused on the outer, um, outer corners of my eyes. So what I think I'm going to do is um, start at the inner corner now, uh, close to the lash line and just sort of bring it out in sort of straighter strokes. I love this brush for a smoky eye because it really gives uh, like such a soft application of the shadow. It's almost like by the time you've, you know, brushed it on with this brush, it's already blended out. It's, it's amazing. And I think because I'm going to use this um, black smudger eye coal, kind of line my entire eye. I need to make uh, this, I need to bring this up a little bit. So I'm going to go back in and kind of go above, right above what I just drew and just sort of grow that black smokiness up a little bit. I think these shadows are blending really beautifully together. Okay, so next I'm going to go in and play with these. These are the two um, other pigments that came in the uh, set. So this is the mercury pigment and this is the astral white pigment. Um, this is very, the astral white is very, very um, duochromy. It has like, you know, that kind of bluish, um, purpley shift to it. I don't know if you can see that on camera. It's so pretty. And the mercury pigment, um, is very, very metallic, but it does not have like a shift to it. So I'm going to go in first with the mercury pigment and I'm going to use like a denser 
sort of um, blending brush and I'm just going to dip, um, I'm going to kind of press my brush into there, load it up with some pigment, tap off the excess and I think I'm going to place this sort of in the middle of my eyelid here, just see what, just see what happens. And I'm just sort of pressing this on the um, eyelid. I'm not really uh, swiping at all. Ooh, that's pretty. It's really, um, I don't want to say it's sheer at all, but if you put like a wash of it over the black, you can still see the black shining through. That's cool. Ooh, pretty. Next, I'm going to try this um, astral, astral white pigment um, with some Fix Plus. So um, I think that'll give it a really intense sort of duochrome shine to my eye. Let's see what happens. So I'm going to load it up on sort of a little tiny, it's not actually that tiny, but a little uh, more of a pencil brush. And I'm going to load up the product on the brush. And then I'm going to spritz my brush with some Fix Plus. And I'm going to apply that to the inner corner here and uh, hope for the best. Well. Can you guys see that? And I'm just sticking to like the inner corner of my eye here. Oh, you know what's so cool? Is that coming off on camera? You know what's so cool is that it has like a bluish shift to it on the skin. Less purpley. Definitely a lot more blue. Um, I'm going to hit the inner corner of my eye here. This definitely like kicks it up a notch to like, I'm not just going out for the evening, but I'm like going clubbing tonight. This is so cool. I hope that's coming off on camera. It is so super cool. All right, so um, I've been trying to figure out how to best use this because as you can see, this coal liner is very thick. And I feel like if I just went in and drew a line, it would just be a hot mess. So I think what I'm going to try is I'm going to take my smudger brush, which is a very short, densely packed sort of brush. So it's pretty stiff. Um, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to run it across this coal liner. So now I have it on the brush and then sort of just press that um, against my lash line. And try not to poke yourself in the eye with it. Actually, I'm going to apply a little bit more because I really do want a smoky eye. So I'm going to go and kind of um, thicken that line up a bit. And instead of just pressing my brush in, I'm going to kind of swipe it a little bit to kind of help the smokiness along. And last but certainly not least is the Eye Gloss in Cyber Clear. I think I'm going to put it, I think I'm going to put it like right, right where I placed like the, the first shadow, just sort of my transition shade here, um, and just sort of see what happens. Or should I put it, I don't know, I feel like if I put it up here, I'm just going to look kind of sweaty. I think I'll just use my finger. Oh my god, can you see that? It's like really, really cool. Okay, I'm just going to put it right on top it definitely gives the whole smoky eye look like a um, I don't know like an intergalactic cyber look to it all which I think I feel like is probably what Pat McGrath was going for oh I kinda like that you know what's neat is if um, if it's not actually reflecting any pigment, it just makes whatever it's on top of look a little bit darker because it's wet. Um, and then it'll do like a color shift when you kind of look around. But that is super, that is super cool. And I have to say, I mean, not surprised, but the quality of these shadows are amazing. They blend it out really, really easily. I am not like a smoky eye gal. I think these are really cool. 
One thing to note, I'm realizing now, is once you put this on, um, there's no real like kind of going back and saying, oh, let me add a little bit more. I don't think that's gonna work. You are done once you put this on. So I'm gonna finish up the rest of my face so that I can smoke out my um, lower lash line and I will be right back. Okay, I am back. I, uh, I pretty much have put everything else on, lip liner, lip gloss, contour, highlighter, everything. Um, so I just wanna finish up my lower lash line and really smoke that out to give this um, whole eye look like a balanced um, look. So uh, I think what I will do is I'm gonna use the, um, the Ultra Suede uh, pigment uh, with uh, a pencil brush. I'm gonna just um, stab at it. Uh, knock off the excess and just go like right underneath my lash line and to the other side. I feel like I need more, so I'm gonna just, I'm just gonna keep going. All right, so I've got the ultra suede brown on, and I definitely want to add some of the coal liner um, to my. Um, waterline. I'm going to use that smudger brush again. I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to kind of just run it across the top here and grab some product. I think I'm going to stick to just the outer corner there. I feel like if I get too heavy all the way around, it makes my eyes look very droopy. So I'm going to just uh, focus on the outer corner here and maybe just drag it towards the middle to kind of fade it out. This is going to sound so super weird, but I'm still really not used to wearing mascara. It's not something I wear every day. And um, I feel like the eye look is pretty finished here without any mascara or any um, falsies. I don't know. Let me know down below if I'm just maybe just not used to it or something. So this is the final look with the Powergraph Dark Star Kit. And I'm going to put... Um, down in the description box, like all the things that I put on my face that I didn't film, just so you guys have an idea of uh, what I used. And yeah, I feel like I feel like I'm ready for next week when um, I take my husband out for his birthday and we end up on the strip somewhere. So um, anyway, I hope you enjoyed this uh, video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. And if you um, would like to subscribe, please hit the subscribe button down below and I will see you in my next video.